How's it everyone? Welcome back to another edition of my racket collection right here on Open Court. So today I'm introducing a Babala racket which is pretty old, it's about 10 years old, but it's still one of the most popular racket lines out there. And today I'm talking about the Babala AeroPro Drive GT. Let's check it out. So you guys might have noticed that this is not the standard version of the AeroPro Drive. The AeroPro Drive is classically colored black and yellow, like that Bumblebee sort of Pittsburgh Steelers colorway. This as you can see is red and black and this is the French Open Edition as you guys can see here with the Roland Garros logo here as well as Roland Garros here, the French Open seal in the throat as well as some Roland Garros watermarks up in the 12 o'clock area. This is the French Open Edition but it is still just the standard version of the original AeroPro Drive GT which looks like this. So obviously this racket lineup was made popular by Rafael Nadal. I believe the GT is the third generation of the AeroPro Drive. There was the AeroPro Drive original and then the Cortex I believe. This GT came out in 2012 I believe and honestly the reason why I bought this is because I really like the colors. I'm a big fan of red and black and I bought this because I thought the colors were so cool but this is a very difficult racket for me to play with because it has too much power and this GT version is actually pretty stiff. So here are the specs to the AeroPro Drive GT. As you can see very little has changed between this generation and the current 2023 edition. The string spacing has gotten a little bit tighter in recent years which is supposed to give it a little bit more control. Obviously this is a 300 square inch, I'm sorry 300 grams, 100 square inch racket with a pretty thick beam so it's going to be very powerful and to counteract that power Babala has um, reduced the stiffness ever so slightly in every generation and made the string pattern a little bit tighter. But the Aero Pro Drive or the Pure Aero line is meant to get incredible spin as well as good amount of power so this is a racket that's very popular because a wide range of players can use it. I reviewed the 2023 Pure Aero earlier this year and that was a fun play test but that racket didn't really gel for me. This, well let's see how this stacks up to the most recent edition. So starting out with the Babala AeroPro Drive GT's pros, obviously the AeroPro Drive GT series is known for its incredible power and spin. It's a very easy racket to use because it gives you a lot of help in those two categories and that's no exception with this early generation of the APD. This racket gets great power and spin especially on my forehand ground strokes. I use a semi-western grip which means that I hit a decent amount of top spin. I can flatten it out if I want to which I don't really recommend with this racket but I do hit a lot of top spin not quite as much as someone who uses a full western but this racket definitely complemented my forehand. My forehand ground strokes and my forehand returns were my favorite part of the AeroPro Drive GT's playtest. If I struck the ball cleanly in the sweet spot on an aggressive return, I got that ball really deep and really fast and there was barely anything my opponent could do and that was one of the most satisfying shots I could hit with this racket. From the baseline I could swing out and as long as I was disciplined with my stroke and falling through down by my left hip, I saw the ball dipping down inside the baseline and kicking up. I could pressure my opponents by hitting heavy topspin ground strokes with this racket so I felt comfortable playing from the baseline which is not usually my comfort zone. Also this racket is great on the slices because it's so aerodynamic the beam especially the throat area the aerodynamic construction allows the racket to slice through the air very quickly and this racket felt great on offensive and defensive slices. Also the APD is great on serves especially the flat and the slice. Because it has such good pop my flat serves were clearing the net at a higher rate than usual and also my slice serve because of the nature of that serve it has a pretty low launch angle but with the AeroPro Drive GT and its trampolini string bed I definitely was able to hit 
slices that cleared the net with a high percentage and I could get them to slide out of my opponent's strike zone and approach it into the net. I loved serving with the Aero Pro Drive. It also has great put away power on volleys and overheads. The aerodynamic beam allowed the racket to cut through the air quickly on those overhead put aways. And I really all I had to do was block the ball and I was able to get some decent depth and power on my volleys, especially those low volleys. This racket was great on serve and volley. It packed that extra punch when I had to bend low and scoop up the ball down by my ankles on that approach volley. I was able to hit it low over the net with good slice, but also be able to pin the opponent deep. That's a pretty difficult thing for most rackets to do. And lastly, because of that added power, this racket is a good defensive racket because you can whip up on that running forehand and be able to hit heavy defensive topspin or low skidding defensive slices. I think a lot of people will have fun using Babala rackets, especially the Pure Arrow or Aero Pro Drive line for defense. Now moving into the cons, I'm sure most people agree with me that the Aero Pro Drive GT, these early generations of the Pure Arrow line were very stiff and very uncomfortable. If you hit out of the sweet spot, especially if you caught the ball near the edge of the frame, it really hurts. And for someone like me who doesn't have arm problems, it was even uncomfortable for me. Obviously, I strung it with full poly because I like using poly and I believe that the Pure Arrow or the Aero Pro Drive line benefits from that poly because it's a spin-oriented racket and the poly will get even more spin. But polys in this APD GT are very stiff and I don't recommend this racket if you have any sort of arm problems. There's also no feel or pop on the backhand. I sent a lot of backhands straight out because I have a flatter backhand and earlier I said I don't recommend this for flatter hitters. I did not enjoy this racket on the backhand at all. As a matter of fact, I had to change my swing pattern. I had to angle my racket face down when I was hitting those backhand ground strokes. If you watch Rafael Nadal hit who made this racket famous, Kind of like that where he angles that racket face down when he hits that backhand. I had to do that with this racket otherwise I had the danger of sending the ball flying long and I didn't feel comfortable on my backhand ground strokes at all with the Aero Pro Drive GT. Also because the frame is thick I miss hit a lot of my kick serves. I caught them at the edge of the frame. Thinner beam rackets tend to be a little better for kick serves because they're more aerodynamic and you don't have to worry about clearing that first edge of the frame to hit the ball in the strings. The kick serves were off and on for me with this Aero Pro Drive. And lastly, another personal gripe of mine with this is that the grip shape is very rounded off and it's hard to feel the bevels, which does bother me a lot. And also the grip felt a little bit on the shorter side compared to some prints or head rackets. That might not be an issue for most people, but I am a little bit of a stickler when it comes to grip sizing and grip shapes. And this one bothered me a little bit. So lastly, who is the Babala Aero Pro Drive GT for? It's obviously for those who want help with power and spin. I recommend these rackets to people who like tweeners, intermediate to advanced level players or developmental players who want that help with power and spin but can also handle the stiffness of this racket. Thankfully, the Aero Pro Drive or the Pure Aero as it's now called has dropped off in stiffness a lot recently to become more comfortable, but this specific generation that came out 10 years ago is very, very stiff. Also, obviously, if you're a fan of Rafael Nadal and you want to be able to hit top spin like him and stuff, this racket is not going to make you like him, but this is one of the top selling racket lines in the world because of Nadal and if you're a fan of him, give this racket a try, but I do not recommend this if you're more of a flatter hitter. This is definitely for someone who swings a little bit more vertical, for someone who has no arm issues and just wants a little bit more help with power and spin. Thank you for watching another edition of my racket collection introducing the Babala Aero Pro Drive GT Roland Garros French Open Edition racket right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.